Welcome back, guys. It's good to have you here. Still your host and your friend, Shagun Peters Oluwashon Olajuwon. So today, we want to make a quick um, happy birthday flyer. Very simple and beautiful one. So delete what you have on your screen. Now, let's select the background by clicking on this side. The background, you click on color. Let's make use of gradient. Let me see if I have something. Okay, let's make use of this. You can see this. Now, let me give us the color code. The first color that I have here, once you just click on color pick 2, you click on the color code is 85860504. That's the color code right here. 860504. That's the color code right there. Okay. Okay, that the second brighter color that I have here is just an extension of this one. You can drag it further a little. So the color code for that one is C7, C4, 7E, 5D. Again, C4, 7E, 5D. That's the color code right here. You can see it. Okay. Now, just okay that when you input that, you have the same background color that I have here. So since we want to make a birthday flyer, the next thing is to bring in the image of the person that we want to make a birthday flyer for. So I'll just import it from my gallery by clicking on this side, import. So I have this image here. I'll try and make this image available for us for our own use and practice. You can reduce the size of this image to position it. Let me give us the size of this image that I'm making use of. Let me increase it a little to, let's say, okay, let me say this is it. I have it right here like this. Okay, I have image size. Let me give us a size. Let me give us a specific size we can make use of. Okay, let's say we are making use of 55 to 55 to 68. Okay, that there you have it. So what we are going to do now is just to position it somewhere here like this. You can see it. Position it at the center. Good. The next thing we are going to try and cover up these angles. These angles that I have here. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to bring in a shadow effect. Okay. okay, here is the shadow effect. You know how we can get this on our pixel lab also, but this one is a little bit deeper. That's why I had to make use of this one. So you can rotate this a little like this. You can see how I'm rotating this. You can reduce the size. Rotate it a little like this. To something like this. So, now let's pick a color for it. Come to color, enable the color, then you come to your color pick two. Let's go and pick a color from what we have. You can see what I have as the first color code. You can just impute that. Okay, it bring it here. You use it to something like this. Okay, now I want to reduce the radius of the background color so as it can extend out a little. All you just have to do is come back to background, come to color. Then you come to gradient. What I will just do here is to relay this backward like this. Bring this out a little. So as it can have wider spread. I'm not changing anything other than just the spread. Okay, that I'm position this right here. Just like this. Position this here. Good. Just come back here. Here. Then you come to duplicate, just duplicate it, position it right above this one like this. Duplicate it again, position it right above here. Continue to duplicate it until it covers, until it covers what we have. That the angles and what you have here is no longer showing. 
you can see that so just duplicate as many as you feel can work for you duplicate it again now rotate it the other way around come and position it here like this Just like this, you can see this. Okay, now duplicate it again. Just continue to duplicate it until you are sure the angles of the image are no longer showing. Now it will create a very beautiful pattern for us to see. To be as if the lady is riding out, it's coming out of the lightning effect you can see how beautiful this effect is now the next thing we are going to do is just to impute the text which is happy birthday come to text then type in happy birthday like just for now type the birthday first like birthday okay make the first letter a capital letter okay that okay it and just bring it in here increase the size now what we are going to do is just to come to font come to font then under font you can go and search for okay let's make use of just search for a beautiful font but let me okay let's make use of d this day is beautiful because of the b the extension of the b outward okay so here i have it what i'll just do now is to increase this until I get a sizable a size that will fit to something like this you can see this okay this is beautiful now what I'll just do now is to get a color for this come to color so I'll pick on color pick to pick on a color from what I have here from the ladies image since I have green yellow and and uh, what is it called pink i'll just pick a very light try and get a light green from her head gear okay it now you can see this is green okay that then you come back to stroke under stroke enable the stroke like this you can increase the length of the stroke to let's say 20 20 this is fine now what you are going to do again is to select click on this plus sign select color pick to from the ladies headgear again come and select the color now you can see we have pink color from her headgear again i want it to be a brighter pink okay something like this extend it out a little okay that now you can see what i have here this is good so i'll just drag this up increase the size now i'm increasing the size for a reason I want to have another stroke but for me to be able to have another stroke behind this pink i have to do something which is creating a shape i'll have to turn these letters to an object so i'll come back here create a shape like this reduce the size just okay it bring it right on top of the green ensure the last angle here the last angle here is on top of the green then you reduce it to the minimum then you click on your layer now the one that you just reduce click on this then the first one which is the small dot that we have and the birthday all you just have to do is to mark the two of them and match them together just like this now it has become an object is no longer in letters you can see this so all you just have to do is position it properly reduce the size back reduce the size Can reduce the size to something like this okay now come back to stroke just enable the stroke make the stroke let's say a one white color and a one stroke length stroke wide one just like this so the next thing we are going to do is just to type in another text and say now let's put the happy which is happy birthday can make the first letter a capital letter okay just like this bring this down here let's go and get a stylish font for it so you come to font let's scroll up. 
I want something very light. Okay, let's make use of this first one under Bombay. Just click on this. Click on that. Okay, it. You can increase the size and come and position it to somewhere here like this. You can see this. Very simple and beautiful. So, for emphasis, you can just say, let's say, include the name of the person. Let's say the name is Michelle. Just like this. You can see that okay make everything a capital letter bring it in here I want to position it here so you have to reduce the size let's make it a size 15 okay that then you can scroll down to spacing just increase the space to the last like hundred percent okay that and position it just right above the lady just like this then use your relative positioning to center it good and now you can see how we have just make a very simple beautiful happy birthday design trust me there is no one you will really make this for and they won't be happy but ensure everything aligns properly you can see the background and the and the design everything is going so well together so try and create a blend if this was really helpful kindly like and subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever i'm creating more content like this thank you for watching and god bless you